for well, good, service tonight. Good morning. It's Wednesday. And just to remind you that we are not having Wednesday night service tonight. Um, we are doing a Friday a Good Friday service from noon to ten, uh, noon to one, and then uh, on Sunday, Easter Sunday, we're doing a sunrise service at six thirty in the morning, and then uh, breakfast, having breakfast for you, and then having service at ten. So we want to invite you to come on those days. But again, no service. Amen. No, no service tonight. Wednesday we're night. we're getting ready. We're getting ready. Yeah, so same. praise God. Amen. Well, uh, the scripture today is John nineteen. Verse 30, and it said, when Jesus had tasted it, that was the vinegar uh, wine that they put, um, they took the uh, sponge. Because he put had said, I'm, thir yes, I'm thirsty, yes. didn't they? And so they, Instead of giving him water, they, they did that. that. When Jesus had tasted, he said, it is finished. Then bowed his head and released his spirit. Praise I believe the most three most powerful words ever voiced by a human being on the earth for all eternity has been those three words right there. It is finished. Mm -hmm. When we grasp the understanding, get the full understanding of all that Jesus did. See, you have to understand the cross that Jesus was on was the goal from the very beginning. Yes. He, he knew when he, he agreed, I mean, this was the only way for redemption. And from the very beginning, Jesus yes. knew it. Well, he had to, from his he, his birth, his birth, we were celebrating on Christmas, his birth, this birth, was so that there could be a death. That's because right. Because if you're not born, you can't die. Right, he could not, he had to become as a man. Yeah, that's why when people say, well, well, Jesus didn't really die on the cross. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. There was a cessation of life that was gone from him. There was all the things that we count as uh, death. There was a separation or a release. That's what the scripture says, a release of his spirit. Mm -hmm. So on that cross, after he said it's finished, that's just his body. Amen. That's just his body yeah, his that is there. Yeah, his spirit lived on, didn't it? Yeah. His the spirit. incarnation was for our atonement. He was born to die so that we could live. And when he had accomplished that... He had uh, the purpose, he, he, when he accomplished that, it was fulfilled. That's why it says it's finished, right? That's right. That's right. He summed it up in one word, finished. I like that. Yes. The original word is a common word. Jesus probably used it after he finished a project with his dad. Good you know, Good It's finished, dad. You know, It's a word that we use all the time. But when Jesus did this, this was the ultimate of the of the price that had to be paid for your debt and my debt that we could never pay. So what was finished, Marcia? What was finished then in that? We was finished and completed. All the sufferings that Christ yeah. suffered were for us. Yeah. Everything he suffered was for us. Never again would he experience pain at the hands of wicked men, That's right? That's right. You know, he did it for us, yes. though. Everything he did was for us. Never again would he have to bear the sins of the world That's on right. him. Amen. Never again, even for a moment, would he be forsaken separated. by God, yeah, separated, separated from, from God. God. He was Every, everything was complete. It, right. was, it was taken care of. Except that he had to go into the okay. to, to hell for three days. So something else happened too. Something else was finished on that day. Satan, who was the god of this world, his authority over people who would accept Christ ended on That's that right. day. That's right. In that day. Jesus came to deal a decisive blow against the devil and his demons. As a matter of fact, in Hebrews 2.14, he says, only by dying... Could he break the power of death, uh, the devil who had the power of death? Amen. In other words, what was what was the what was the uh, the fruit of sin is death, no, right? right? That's what and the word says. That's what the word says. And so Jesus came to break that. That's why in First Corinthians fifteen. He says, O oh, grave, where is thy victory? O oh, death, where is thy sting? Because we know now because of Jesus and what he has done Amen. that for us, 
as a Christian to accept Jesus Christ means that our sin has been forgiven. And when, when this body is finished, we, our spirit is released and goes to be with him. Amen. 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 So the devil no, has Jesus, no power. That's what happens. Yeah. De- I mean, that's a great yeah. statement there at the end you have. So Christ cried out these words. It is finished. It was God's deliberate and well thought out plan. It is finished. So you and I can rejoice. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We rejoice. Hallelujah. We rejoice. God bless you. We love you. See you tomorrow.